Welcome to Office 2010 video project number seven. Hey, we're studying Word in chapter one. This video is going to be about some cool spell check tricks. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and download a file here. If you're in the class, you could do it through our Angel website. If you're uh, uh, not in our class, you can click on the link below the video and then uh, download this file. I need to open up a browser. Um, you definitely want to open up Windows Explorer and on the left navigate to your system of folders to Word because that's where we're saving everything. Uh, we're going to open up, I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. Notice this is Windows Explorer because we're exploring our, our computer and this is Internet because we're exploring the Internet, Internet Explorer. And we're going to go to our, uh, I'm going to go to our website. Okay, whether you go through Angel or the link below the video you get need to get to here and we're going to go to Word and we have our second start file. Now notice last video I uh, we downloaded uh, or two videos ago we downloaded this health food flyer. I actually posted the finished ones as, as I got done with the video the finished results from this. Alright now we need to download project 7. I'm going to click save never open. There's lots of problems if you click open. If you click save, you save it to your computer and you just skip over those types of problems. Now, if you uh you need to navigate to the right location so we're in our word. Remember um this is a .docm, so since there's no DOCMs, you don't see anything there even though we have lots of files in that word folder. I'm going to click save close, I'm going to verify. And sure enough, there it is right there. I could also come up here and double click to expand the column to see it. Now I'm going to double click and open it. I'm immediately going to hit F12 to save as. I'm going to get rid of the start file. Just leave it like that. Now this is great. This is a, a letter. This is a business letter. It's a great example for spell check because we have basically every type of problem you could have with a letter. And what it is is it's uh, Steve Kavanaugh signed it at the bottom. Steve Kavanaugh owns uh, Kites by the Beach. And he's sending a letter to Colorado Boomerangs. Richard Pollock Nelson is the owner of Colorado Boomerangs. And the gist of the letter is that Steve Kavanaugh went to a Kite Trade Association trade show, and this company was there. Uh, Steve Cavanaugh from the kite store saw this company, went to a demo, and was impressed by the product. So he's writing to the owner saying, Hey, we would like to carry some of your boomerangs in the shop. All right, so this is a business letter that was sent out. All right, now spell check. There's most of us uh, have used spell check, but probably not all of us have done uh, all of the cool tricks with spell check. There's just a couple uh, good ones that we want to remember. And actually, at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you something about autocorrect and um, uh, creating a shorthand. Now, to begin this project, I want you to put your cursor at the beginning. If you can't, not sure, then Control Home to get to the beginning. And then, where is Spell Check anyway? I think it's under Review, right? There it is. But we're gonna, and there's a, there's the keyboard right there, F7. We're gonna use F7. All right. Notice I clicked out of here, and then I have to click Resume here. Now, what does a red squiggly line mean. Now I can hear lots of you saying, oh yeah, a red squiggly line means it is spelled incorrectly. Well, that's not exactly true. Notice it even gives you here, not in dictionary. It's just acknowledging that there's some words like Yanaki or your name that are not in dictionary. It's not that they're necessarily spelled wrong. So then we see ignore once. So you could ignore it once. If words are similar to other words, you probably want to ignore it once. If it's uh, whatever, whether it's grammar or not in dictionary, if you want to skip over it the whole time, like people usually use this if you uh, haven't added your name to the custom dictionary, you just say ignore all. Add to dictionary, we'll see an example of that. That's like when you have a product or your name, which the dictionary doesn't have. That's a great trick. Change, we could change that. Change all when you've made the same mistake multiple times. And finally, autocorrect. This is a great one, and we'll have an example of it coming up. You could also go to spell check options. 
I am going to select this one. Notice there's a couple of them. You select whichever one you want. I'm going to say change. Now, association. There's a assassination. Assassination is association. I didn't spell that one. So this is still not in dictionary. I'm going to click change. All right, now Clearwater. Clearwater is a name of a city, right? Uh, Clearwater, Florida. So there's two T's there, and it's suggesting we use this one. So I'm going to say change. Oh, association. Uh, you know what? Earlier, I should have selected change all. Now, I don't know about you, but I have used spell check, and I'm like, click, 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 and all of a sudden, three words down, and I'm like, man, I didn't mean to just change that word. Did you know there was an undo? There it is. Click undo, undo. I only did that because I want to show you now. If I click association change all, then uh, when we get to this one, it won't uh, stop and waste our time. All right, clear water. I'm going to say change. Now, showcasing. Looks like I spelled it wrong. That's correct. So I'm going to say change. What? It's green. Now it says jargon. What is jargon? Jargon just means words that people use in a particular profession. Like in accounting, debit means left. In uh, To most of us, debit means a debit card where we take our cash out. Or uh, it's similar to slang. Now, this is a complete. Uh, judgment call. This is where I like to say ignore rule. I don't care. I have all my jargon down. I'm just going to uh, uh, click ignore all. Now, you could select one of these, but I kind of like showcasing. The association does a great job every year of showcasing the latest flying sports products instead of displaying or highlighting. So I'm going to say ignore rule. Yanaki. This is, and if we read this sentence here, notice I can click out of here and scroll and it, we can resume later. We're, uh, we are interested in purchasing the following items for our store. Yanaki Delicate Arts. So this is the name of a product. I'm going to click back up here. Resume. This is the perfect example of when you want to add to dictionary. I don't want to waste my time if I'm writing letters for the next uh, five years um, about this product. So I'm going to click Add to Dictionary. You can actually go look at the dictionary under uh, File Options, and then under Proofing, there's uh, the dictionary, and you can go look there. Now, Deuce. Now, Steve Cavanaugh, when he typed this, uh, he's been typing the word deuce for years, and he always gets it wrong. It's D-U-E, uh, sorry, it's spelled D-E-U, and he always spells it U-E. So this is an example um, where as you're typing, you would like to just automatically have it correct. You don't even want to bother with spell check. Most of us notice this every time we type. T-E-H, it automatically changes it to T-H-E. That's called autocorrect. So autocorrect is right there. So this is a perfect use for autocorrect. It's for either words that you always misspell wrong, or later we'll see how to use autocorrect for a shorthand. So I'm going to select that one and then autocorrect. We can also go look at that list under uh, file proofing also to see the uh, autocorrects that we made. Now, in particular, this is comma use. Here's another um, button that you probably haven't seen before. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not very good with uh, grammar and spelling, so occasionally I've has looked at this. Now, this is not, you know, the programmers at uh, Microsoft, Bill Gates and his pals, are not probably, you know, uh, English teachers at a big university. Uh, but the rules here are actually kind of good. I'm going to click it, explain if it'll pop up. And it looks like it's going online. It's taken a while. And usually the only point to this is it gives you the rule and some examples. And you know, it's OK. So especially if uh, you're like me, you just don't know grammar and spelling very well, and you want to get a, a, you know, an OK hint, that's pretty good. In particular, we like the Yanaki. Well, particular usually has a pause. That's up to you in particular. We like the Yanaki and Deuce. In particular, we like, I'm going to say, Ignore. 
perfect. You could go either way here. Ignore once. I don't want to ignore this rule. I would never click that one right here. Um, okay, because I'm going to say change. Uh, now, contractions. You Notice know, it says contractions up here. Generally in business writing, you shouldn't use them. However, if this is a casual, um, you know, many business interactions are casual and do accept this. In this case, Steve Cavanaugh and Richard Pollock Nelson do have a bi strong business relationship, which is also casual, so that would be okay. It, but again, in formal writing, writing it's kind of handy to have spell check remind you that contraction is not allowed. I'm going to say ignore rule for this document. By the way, when I click this, it's just for this document. Okay, as per our conversation, please send us our initial order with the display rack and pop material, point of purchase material. So that would be like pop would be like they get a rack to sell the boomerangs and some posters of people doing trick catches. Now notice it gives us a bunch. We want the second one and I'm going to say change. I definitely want to say change all because there's too many words similar. Race, rack, and on and on. Racy. I'm going to click change. Okay, Kavanaugh. This is one where you could add to dictionary if this is Steve Kavanaugh's dictionary. He might be careful because he doesn't want to uh, have uh, customers with C get confused here. Um, so you could decide, but adding your name to a dictionary is pretty good. Now, uh, I'm going to click ignore once, and there it is. It's done. Now, is that really done? As we all know, absolutely not. There is no way to program in ones and zeros all that there is in spelling and grammar. There's just no way. So the rule of thumb is you want to read through it or have someone else read through it. If it's important like your resume or uh, an important letter, have two people read through it. There's all sorts of mistakes. Now if we did this live in class, I'd have you guys read through and find and you should do that. But for example, the association does a great job every year. That should be every there's actually about seven or eight more errors in here. There's another one up here that shouldn't be a comma. And it just goes on and on. Now a couple more things. Let's go look at the custom dictionary and autocorrect. And then we're going to see how to use autocorrect to do something great to create a shorthand. I'm going to go to File, Options, uh, Proofing. And then there's the custom dictionary. And uh, you can go ahead and look through that uh, edit word list. Uh, we don't really want to uh, edit word list, but you could. Let's see. Uh, what did we add? We added uh, Yanaki, and there it is, right there. I'm going to click so you could uh, delete or type a word here and click Add. I'm going to click OK. Click OK. The other one is, and you know, I think they moved it. Oh no, uh, autocorrect. No, they didn't. I was looking down here. There's the custom dictionaries. Autocorrect. And you'll see here's a bunch of things. That is why every time you type C or E, uh, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, it turns to that because it's autocorrect. You can delete that uh, if you'd like. Whoops. So you click there and then you could delete it if you want. Uh, let's see, we were in the. Um, D's. So we're, we had a deuce. D U. Oh, there it is right there. So uh, that was that. Let's go ahead and uh, create a new one. There's two ways. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. There's two ways to do it. Uh, I'm going to click, uh, let's see, replace text as you type. Yes. I'm going to uh, type M G. Notice I type little mg, and then I'm going to type. Now what I've done is created a shorthand. I'm going to click Add. Now I'm going to type another one, Highline Community, Co Highline Community College, so 8cc. And I'm going to come over here and type Highline. This is dangerous for me because I'm such a bad typer and speller. Highline Community College, I think I got it right. I'm going to click. Add. And now let's go test this. This is actually creating a shorthand. So if you do a lot of typing, you type the same things over and over again. Oh, this is a great trick. I'm going to Control-End to go to the end, Control-End, and Control-Enter 
to add a page break and jump to the next next page. Now let's try it. MG and the trigger is space. Enter, enter. Um, HCC space. All right, um, so that's a little bit about spell, check, custom dictionary, and the awesome, totally awesome, time-saving, auto-correct. All right, see you next video.